Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. This is, I think this might be one of my top three favorite characters um, for my off the mat. I don't know. I say three because I feel like um, I don't want to limit myself, but this one's going to be up there. Maybe top five. Because <laughs> some of these characters are just amazing and I'm so lucky that, um, you know, I get to choose the ones that I want to do. So, um, anyway, this is Canary from Hunt, and I don't even know if it's Hunter by Hunter or Hunter Cross Hunter, Hunter and Hunter, but anyway, Canary is supposed to be this, like, guardian, loyal, um, just an amazing character. Um, and the reason why I picked her is because, you know, I've been curating this cardstock collection and um, I wanted to find a really cool character for this. So I'm showing you today two shades of the darker browns. Um, actually one shade that's really the, my darkest brown. And then uh, for the lips, I went with a very light brown. So anyway, let's get started. I really don't know how I'm gonna do the hair just yet. So this might be one of those like uh, working sessions, but anyway, what you see right now is the black background. Originally, I wanted, um, my thought process behind using the glitter cardstock was that just a little bit would show, and so um, we would really be drawn to the eyes. I was gonna use glitter cardstock for the eyes, and um, for her hair, she has like this purple hair, and so I was actually gonna use black and purple glitter but yesterday as I was putting it together you may have seen it on Instagram on my stories um, I realized that the glitter cardstock for the hair was actually really nice for the black so I went and recut it so I don't know if I'm gonna have it pop up or whatever so that's kind of my thought process all right so the black background being glitter cardstock um, you whether it's glitter or black or any other color, you always wanna do it from behind. So we're, I'm gonna flip everything over and we're gonna tape it from behind. And I do it this way because like, honestly, I'm challenged. <laughs> um, I have a hard time like spatially putting, like figuring out where things go. So I really need to make it so that I don't make any mistakes. Um, so I flip it all over. And then I just use regular scotch tape to piece this together. And so what I do is two pieces at one time. I'm gonna start with the bottom. I know you can't see the whole bottom, but basically you line it up. You, you hold one up and push it against the other so that it gets as close as possible. And then you tape it down. Now this is also like the beauty of using the grid of squares. Um, is that these pieces, you know, butt up against each other. We know that they're flushed, so it's easy to put together. I'm gonna put this one down. Actually, I'm gonna put this first. Um, is that, you know, I, I say this I say this in the videos, uh, whether it's design space or putting it together, is that we're basically using all the tools that we have and some of these tools may seem like just a small minor detail, but all these small minor details add up to like an overall flawless project. And that's kind of what we're going for is that, um, you know, we want to make something big. I mean, technically we can make, we can make something as big as we want, right? But whether or not it actually looks good is another story, right? And I've had my examples. You, If you guys have been following me, you know my big, um, my big mistake was Jasmine. I absolutely hated it. And I love Jasmine. She's one of my favorite characters for the regular one until I did her super big. I did her too big and it was a mistake. I had a feeling, <laughs> but I had to try it, right? I had to know for myself and I did it and it was awful looking. And <clears throat> normally I would just throw it away, but I couldn't bear to throw it away. It's sitting in the corner of this room as a reminder to um, not make that mistake again. <laughs> 
So, all right. Uh, it's almost all paired up, right? Now we got to put, you know, the bigger pieces together. Um, and we tape from behind because um, we just don't want any of the scotch tape to show through. Scotch tape is clear, right? But um, but it's got a film to it so you can see it. So you never want to go past your pieces. I'm going to turn this over just a little bit so that you can see the whole piece. And then that way I can tape this more easily. So what I like about the grid of squares is like everything kind of lines up. Occasionally things don't line up because... Um, it's on purpose, right? But for the most part, the four corners meet. It's so much easier to put together and it's an easy way to ensure that we are going to be as seamless as possible. What happens is, what you wanna do is, we're going to then put this on a foam board, right? And all these little pieces, wherever there is a line, if it's not straight, what happens is it catches the light and then we see the seams a little bit. So that's why it's important to um, line this up and tape it as good as we can so that we can um, avoid that. All right, so this is all taped up. What you wanna do is you wanna definitely tape the edges. The edges is where um, nothing's gonna be cover covering it. But on this piece, it's a little bit different because the hair goes all the way to the edge. Um, so I think we are all good on this piece. I'm gonna flip it over and we're gonna start putting down our pieces, okay? So first up is, this is, this was definitely hard. It was not as easy as I thought it was gonna be. And actually what I'm gonna do right now, and I apologize for not having this up front, I'm gonna open up my design space on my other screen so that I can see exactly where all the pieces go. But look at this. I mean, this is with crazy light on it. You, you can't even really see that seam, right? And everything's gonna be covering this. So this piece right here, do you see how it's standing out a little bit more than the other pieces? This is because of the grain. We've talked about this before, and I'll talk about it just right now while I'm madly rushing to bring up design space, is that um, cardstock, glitter cardstock has a direction for the grain. And what I mean by that is, my easiest example is when we have, um, you know like the, the sequins or the velour pillows where you rub your hand one way and the, you could see on there the change in the, the fabric, right? And then you rub it the other way and even though it's the same color pink, you see that it's different, right? So glitter cardstock has the same thing where there's a grain, a direction of it. So this is cut in a different direction. So, and I don't do this often because usually um, you know, everything's in the background. So I don't, I, I need to be better at this and make sure that as just a best practice to always do it is we should line up our paper so that it always goes into our Cricut in the same direction. And then you can't rotate the pieces though, because if you rotate the pieces, then it doesn't matter how, what grain, what direction you put it in. So there's a, a portion of that too, as well, that, um, makes it more difficult to um, to watch out for because then what happens too is because you can't rotate the pieces, you end up uh, wasting some paper. Um, and a lot of times it doesn't come into play like this because this is in the background and design space is taking a long time to bring up, so give me a second. Um, there, let me move this out of the way. It's really slow today, it's not bringing it up, but all right. I'm gonna start bringing over some of the pieces. One of the things that I really love about this piece is her suit. And it's going to sound ridiculous, but do you see like how her suit is? It's got these, it's the Swiss dots from Basil. Um, 
And I love that I went with this like, um, it's sort of like an off color black to me, right? In comparison to the black glitter cardstock, it's not as dark, it's got a grayish feel to it. Um, but I absolutely love the way this came out. It's like, I love the detail. So it's definitely her suit, right? And it looks like a real suit. I just love it. Um, okay, and I think this went something like this. So right now, as with all my off the mat projects, I do like to piece it all together so that I can play it around with the actual um, outline, like how much is showing and making sure that everything is even. So, all right, my design space finally came up. So now I'll have a visual of my piece. Um, give me one more second. I'm gonna bring her in so I can see. She's just such a beautiful character. Her eyes, um, the color, Oh, just everything. I absolutely love this piece. And yesterday, and it's always like a sure, like a telltale sign is when I, I always, um, take it off the cutting mat and I just kind of piece it all together. And it looks, usually it looks really bad because, you know, it's not taped together. Things are sliding. It's not perfect. But when it looks amazing on the cutting mat, like just straight off, not glued down, you know it's gonna look beautiful once you piece it all together and everything is perfect. Um, all right, let me continue with this. And I really mixed a lot of different, um, materials on this one we've got glitter cardstock we have the swiss dots we have um metallic we've got foil we've got it all so you can see i mean just love it And wait till you see the green. I hope it comes through. Yesterday I took two separate angle pictures and in one the green was like amazing. In the other one it looked like it disappeared. Um, I don't know where this piece goes. <laughs> oh, it goes like this. Okay, why does it look so weird? All right, here is the green. Oh, you can see it. So it's like, it's beautiful. And I wanted, I have two different greens on here. Her eyes are a different green glitter cardstock as opposed to this um, like shimmer foil. So, okay. I'm gonna bring this up. This is her face and her face is just beautiful. <laughs> Now, I normally have a piece that goes underneath the face, right? Because in the eyes and the mouth, you can have a seam and I always wanna cover it. But in design space, when we were cutting this, I knew that there were no seams running through the face and that's why we have the glitter showing through. Okay, so check out her, look at that green. It's gorgeous. <laughs> Um, I will definitely make sure I have the name of the green paper for you um, in the details of the, of the video. I don't remember offhand because I've got so much paper in my room. But this is one of my favorite shades of brown. <clears throat> and you may recognize it. I used it for Tiana. So... Um, Tiana's skin is the lip color and I try to pick characters. I try to, um, reuse the brown so you can see the different shades of brown within the same character. I mean, look at, she's gorgeous. Um, you'll have to let me know what you think of the colors as well. I mean, for me, obviously I love all of these, um, cause they made it to my final eight. So this is, this is my final eight selection. Um. What is it in basketball? Is it Elite Eight, right? <laughs> um, but for, I'm trying to think, for Doc McStuffins, 
Uh, see, this is what happens when I like, I don't know what I'm doing there. <laughs> Um, for Doc McStuffins, she actually, I believe I ended up with six, six colors from the cardstock collection on that piece, which will give you a, you know, give you a really good example next to each other. But also, why does this look weird? See, this is where I'm really bad with puzzles. I don't know what's going, that doesn't make, oh yeah, it does make sense. Okay. <laughs> All right. And the designer that I worked with is um, the Salty Yankee. She made it so easy. I mean, just look at the red pieces. If you look at the actual uh, cartoon image, the red bands, like the little rubber bands, they're in multiple pieces, right? But I had it so that it still has the detail, but it's one piece, so it's easy to manage. And that's what we always want. All right. Now, I also added, because her image is, um, is really short, right? It's her face, her hair, and just a little bit of the suit. So I needed to add a banner down here to make it longer and bigger. So when you have that, you can always add a banner to it as well. And it's nice because you can put, you know, if it's for a birthday, you can put the name, you can put the age, you could just even put happy birthday if you wanted to, but it makes for, it gives you the ability to add length to it. And look how pretty that is. I mean, I just love, we'll have to line this up later. This is always one of the last things that I will work on. Um, but right now, oops, what happened there? I accidentally got water on there. Okay. Um, all right. So that's the bottom portion. We're working our way up. Now, I have my glue gun going. Is it this way? Yeah. I have my glue gun going because it's glitter cardstock. So um, I will also be using Barely Art glue. So you're just going to be gluing it all down. Um, with the face depending on let me see how this goes um if you ever run into an issue with the skin color because usually you know like with glitter and stuff it's thick enough it's like um i use 300 gsm so it's really thick paper um the glue won't show through but sometimes with the with the skin color and i went with really thick uh, cardstock for, for this collection. So this one's really thick. I believe this is a hundred pound cardstock, but I will double check. Um, if it still shows through though, which it shouldn't, you can always do another, cut out another layer. And on the second layer, because it's cardstock on cardstock, not glitter, you can then use double-sided tape, which is my preferred way of taping everything down. All right, so we're making our way through. Let me show you what the hair is starting to look like. And I know this video because there's so, and we really cut down on the pieces, but I really wanna make sure that everything lines up perfectly. So I know this is gonna take a little while. I'm probably gonna break up this video into two portions. Well, actually three, <laughs> because the design space piece of it as well, right? Um, all right. So these little pieces right here is where it gets me every single time. <laughs> All right. So you see, I ended up, I mean, her hair looks so good like this. Originally, I went with a matte black, which I can show you in a second what that looks like. Nope, it's this side. Nope. Not that side. Then that means this isn't it. What am I doing here? Hold on. <laughs> All right. This is what I'm talking about. See, I'm like really bad with this. So this goes right up against it. So all these seams are actually gonna be completely covered. I mean, it's just so awesome. What is going on with this one? 
This one is not that piece. There we go. Um, and so then, see these go straight down into the piece. So like this seam right here just got covered up, right? And this seam over here is about to get covered up. So see that got covered up. Um, so I haven't quite decided if I want, I think I'm gonna put foam tape and have it pop up a little bit for the hair. Um, that's kind of what I'm leaning towards. And then, um, all right, let's see. So then this piece, where does this piece go? See, it's so confusing. Um, no, is this piece over here? See, I put it together yesterday, and then now I've lost all my places. <laughs> Here we go. This I know goes over here. Can you even see that? So this is the edge. I'm gonna bring it down so you can see it. All these pieces are really thick, so it would be easy to put on foam tape, and then I'll pop up so you can kind of see. It just looks so beautiful. And then I'm gonna have the red, um, you know, these little pieces will stay flat, and then we have, um, her hair, her little end pieces, okay, there. Um, they'll pop up as well, I think, which I think will make it look really, really good. Okay, so these little pieces are for her tie down here, which I'm not sure if I'm gonna incorporate. I'm gonna have to see what I wanna do with that. But these are all extra pieces that go here on her hair. So I kinda wanna, I wanna put it up and you know what? We can try it out right now. Hold on. Let me get foam tape. And I'm just going to put foam tape on right now by itself because with foam tape on glitter cardstock, I can it's it's basically removable. And then if we like it, then I will use a hot glue gun to make sure that it stays down. And I think this is gonna look so good. Um, all right, what else can I tell you while we're here? Um, now, normally inside the eyes, I don't like the black uh, to use black glitter cardstock. In this case, because the green and the white is so contrasting already, um, it didn't get muted out. So I am leaning towards keeping it because everything is just so pretty on this girl. All right, I definitely like it raised up. I know you can't see it and I can't pick it up because everything's gonna slide off. <clears throat> but I think that's what I'm gonna go with. All right, so this little piece right here, I think butts up. No, that's not the right piece. Oh, hold on, ignore me. Okay, we're gonna put this one over here. And that, that's still not the right piece, what the heck? Here you go. There, that's the right piece, okay. So you see how all these pieces butt in? So I think it'll be easy to put the foam tape. <clears throat> it'll be obvious where everything goes. Hopefully. <laughs> Nothing is ever obvious for me. See, even that one. It's this one over here. Jeez, I'm so bad at that. And I'll show you in a minute. I think this goes down somewhere over here. Um, I'm going to bring over the the matte black that I ended up using at first. Okay, so that's not it. Is this it? This is it, okay. Um, so 
so this is what I went with at first. So you can kind of see it like dulled the whole piece. So I really like her hair like that. But I could be wrong and you guys can let me know afterwards. Um, so nope, wrong piece. There we go. So all of these butt up like that. So it's gonna be easy to put together, like I've been saying. <laughs> Easier once we get there. Um, okay, so let's see. I have this little one. We've got this piece over here. So we're almost done. And I will piece together some of, I'll glue, I'll start to glue some of it together just so that you can see how I do it. But I think that's going to be another video because this is gonna run so long. But you can see as I'm putting pieces down, the seams are disappearing, right? Um, we have almost all our pieces. the bigger pieces okay oh here we go um i'm missing okay let's put this piece down see that big seam just went away <clears throat> Super excited about that. And that goes down. And oh, now I can't even see where it goes. With the light, it's so hard to see where what I'm doing here. <laughs> Maybe it's this side. So you can see, oh my gosh, I love it. Um, still got some pieces, hold up. I think the two small ones are for the little ones up here. So I'm gonna put this one down. Okay, we still have around the ears. So right now for her hair, Everything has disappeared, right? All of the, um, all of the seams. We've got, oh, I can't even see. I know the next video when I record it, I'm gonna have to turn off the lights because it's glaring and I can't see anything right now. Kind of guessing. Okay. Um, I'm missing. Hold up. Oh man, I'm missing a piece. I'm missing her little pigtail, that the little end piece of the braid right there. All right, um, these little guys go no. This is where I'm gonna struggle. <laughs> um. Okay, not sure. 
that's gonna go here somewhere okay she's got a little more pinks over here I just gotta figure out what the pieces are let me make this bigger so I can see okay um, so there's a piece that goes right here something like that no like that No, I don't know. I have it wrong. <laughs> I gotta figure it out. Something like that. There's another piece that goes here. I'm missing a piece there, but we can start to, like, you can kind of see where everything goes. And this is looking real. Everything lined up, so. And it's a thin outline. So, um, I almost feel like I should do the, this neck piece first. So I'm going to do that because that sets the tone for everything else. And then that way I can start to move down and do this portion. Okay. So I'm going to take my Barely Art glue and I'm going to do the neck first. I do like the precision tip. It gives that just enough. And while it's drying, I like to keep my hands down on this just so that it's drying flat. It's adhering. And sometimes if, it, if I feel like it's not taking that well, I'll put something heavy down while it's drying and then I'll move to a completely different area to do that. So you see, that's, that's all I had to do. Um, and sometimes it's easier to do, like the next piece is not to do the white, but to do this lapel right here. So I'm going to move this canary sign out of the way. I know you can't really see it, but I'm going to take it off because it overlaps the suit a little bit. So I'm actually, I'm going to put down this piece right here, keep it heavy on there. And over here, I'm going to put this down. So you can kind of see like, I'm going <laughs> to, it's going to be heavy. I want it down. I want to adhere it. I'm going to move to this side over here and do this piece. And make my way around it. All right, that's all there is. Um, the next one is going to be I'm going to finish it up and then I'll show you how to put it on a foam board and then we'll take lots of pictures. This is just, I feel like I gave you all the tips. Um, I'm going to be doing not the next one, but I'm going to be doing, I think I can tell you, I'll be doing Belle again. And when I do Belle again in this next, this next round, I'm going to do it where, um, I'm going to use crepe paper or streamers, like streamer paper, and I'm going to wrap that around the foam board so that the foam board, even from behind, the character is going to look really, really nice. So just know that that's coming up. You can always look at that as another option in my past YouTube videos. Um, it, you know, it just depends on 
what your party is like if if there's going to be a lot of people going behind it a lot of times i'm making this knowing that it's going to go on the dessert table so it's propped up against a wall on a table with the cake tape with the cake and other desserts party favors and stuff so no one's seeing it from behind so from behind it's just a foam board um all right i'm gonna put this down and put that down so it dries really nice and flat and I'm gonna let everyone go. Let me know what you think, if this got you started, if this is just about the right content for you. And I will see you on the next portion for this character. All right, see you.